sit back, relax, and grab a drink because today I'm gonna be styling some stuff from Jessica London. If you love style hauls and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the content that I'm putting out. I put out three or more videos a week. So happy Monday, everybody. I am really excited about this one because I'm bringing you another style lookbook. They're so much fun to make and you guys seem to enjoy them. So it's a win-win. And Jessica London was kind enough to send me some items that I could show off for you guys. And I'm just excited to show you what I came up with. Let's jump right into the try-on. The first thing that I really wanted to try was the knotted tunic. I tried it in size 26, 28 in bright lilac. They have three other shades if this color isn't your jam. The tunic was $49.99, but I do want to let you guys know they have a lot of sales. Just the other day, like almost everything on their site was 40% off. So definitely check out their sales that they got going. But I love it. I think lilac is so pretty. It fits very comfortably. I love the length of it. I love the shoulders. I love that the knot, you can, you know, make it as tight or as loose as you want. It's kind of personal preference there. So so I really do like that. First way you're seeing me wear it here is actually just with bike shorts and I thought it was kind of a fun and funky way to wear it. Those bike shorts are so super fun and I'm obsessed with those neon shoes. So the neon kind of have a purple lilac color to them as well when the light hits it just right. So I thought this could be a fun look for summer and spring just like throw on and go and even though that day was 90 degrees when I was wearing that I still felt very cool because it itself is very lightweight and breathable. So even though it was a quarter length sleeve I still still felt plenty fine. I had bike shorts on so I think we're good. <laughs> And then I decided to dress it up a little bit and I decided to try it with eye stretch skirt. It's very stretchy and comfortable but it's also very fitted. Got it in the black color but there are four other color options. I tried this on in a size 28 and it is originally priced $69.99. I love the way the skirt fit. It was comfortable even though it was tighter fit. Like I said it's very stretchy still so it wasn't uncomfortable even though it was fitted. I think it's a very classy skirt. I love the little ruffle at the bottom. Just kind of gives it a little fun and flirty little edge. Edge. Plus, I think that this skirt is honestly perfect for multiple occasions like you're seeing here. It's a little bit more like dressy with that purple shirt tucked in. Then with that skirt, I want to show you a more casual way and I absolutely love friends if you guys already know that. I decided to do something a little fun and different and I popped in that Central Park shirt just tied it to the side and the mules from the last video and I thought this was really cute to me. It kind of like gave me that cafe mocha kind of vibe. I don't know. Very cute, very casual. And of course I had to pair it with my Central Park purse and I just feel like this look was very fun and flirty and something that you could just wear running errands still and you look like a little more sophisticated but still pretty freaking comfortable and casual. So I absolutely love that. This next look, let's talk about these shoes that are from Jessica London also. I love those shoes. The shoes are size 10 79.99 and i got them in double wide two other colors of those shoes as well super comfortable i actually had a lot of room in there and what i love about these for wide feet is since it was tied up you could have loosened it even more if the top of your foot maybe has a little more chunk on it you can loosen it up you need to put the on and off since it does have the zipper closure but like I really love this look together with that black skirt. I think it looks so cute. And then I just did this black and white tank top that I have and just kind of tucked it and just let it kind of hang there with my cute little mustard purse. Like I'm obsessed with this outfit. I think it's so cute, so classy, but I still feel like it could translate into a casual dinner or to the office as well. Simply putting on this stunning blazer from Jessica London as well. This blazer is originally priced $119.99 but again like I said they have sales like all the time. It's a size 26. They have it in a beautiful pink color as well but I thought the white was so fun because I don't have any white jackets. So I thought this would be really fun to try for something different and I love this look together. I think it just really sets it off. The jacket itself is not too warm. I was wearing it on the 90 degree day. Like I wouldn't want to wear it for a long period of time on a 90 degree day personally because I do run hotter but I mean if you are it's a little cooler of a day or if you're actually going to be indoors like in an office setting for example I think this is going to be perfect because it's not too heavy either. I love that there is a good stretch to it so it felt comfortable if you're going to be moving and grooving you're not going to feel super constricted in it and then I wanted to show you another way to wear the blazer which is actually with this dress right here to me this is a very classic like date night or like Sunday church it's just very cute and classy obviously you could put a ton of different dresses underneath it or skirts but I thought this dress was a perfect match since it had that 
that white. I just want to show you another way to wear it. This way to me is like a little bit more romantic, a little more like girly, a little more like brunch with the girls or like a cute little date night. Again, with those same high heels, I was really happy. I went grocery shopping. Actually, I wore this today on Mother's Day, this look that you're seeing, and I went grocery shopping with my mom, and I was comfortable still in the shoes, so super happy about that because I love to look cute, but I also love to be comfortable. Like, that is my motto in life. And the last way I show how to wear the blazer is a very rocker chic look, which I really love rocker chic. Like, that's one of my favorite go-to looks. I just think you instantly look fun, and you take a blazer, something that can be considered more like stuffy or businessy but you make it so much fun and honestly you really elevate this look which is a really fun rocker tee jean shorts and actually these mules that i got from my last jessica london video i thought those shoes went really well with the outfit so i decided to put it with it honestly the tank top and the jean shorts are cute on their own but i feel like that jacket just popping that over instantly gave this a more pulled together like i said more elevated look definitely gave it the chic to rocker chic so i love all those different ways that you can wear the jacket i think they're all so fun for different occasions and different ways the last item i'm going to be showing you that i styled is this gorgeous gingham high low skirt size 26 89.99 do have another color if you'd like to try a different color i absolutely love this skirt though i think it is so fun it definitely screams spring it's summer like mildly obsessed with gingham print and pink is just so fun and flirty again wanted to show a couple different ways so the first way is i actually did a little bit of pattern mixing is i had this tank top that had the same shade of pink in it and i think that those looked really nice together just tucked it in popped a jean jacket over and i have the heels so to me it's like a little more of a dressy look but you're still kind of casual skirt itself fits really nicely but there is an underlining that is more fitted even though the overline is very flowy and fun so you're in between sizes i would size up only because of that the band itself is super stretchy super comfortable and everything like that but yeah, like i said if you're in between sizes i would get the larger size so obviously that looks all fun and flirty and girly and cute and i think it could be good for work in most occasions but then i wanted to show a more relaxed weekend kind of vibe for the skirt and that is when i bust it out you guessed it my grateful dead tank that just keeps on giving it's so cute it has that same shade of pink in it and then it has like these oranges and like yellow so i thought this would be super fun just to kind of tie over to the side pop on my summer hat of course keep it fun and funky and have my cute little heart sunglasses and then kind of bring out some other fun colors with the purse and then also just keep it very casual and comfortable like with my Birkenstocks my rose gold Birkenstocks I thought those actually were perfect I debated on what shoe to do but I ultimately decided on that because to me this look is just very like just casual spring and summer you're gonna be maybe going to the beach or you're gonna go walk the farmer's market and you want to be comfortable but you still want to be cute this is something i could picture you going out for the day in and being very comfortable not gonna be too hot you're still gonna look really cute and this outfit to me is just such a standout fun outfit i instantly smiling at it you know just certain outfits just put you in a good mood and this was definitely one of them so i definitely enjoyed this jessica lennon style haul i hope you guys did too it was so much fun putting together these different looks please comment below your favorite look or your favorite looks because personally i can't decide i really loved them all for different reasons just obviously depending on the occasion I feel cute in all of them and now that I've had some time with my Jessica London shoes from the first video I can say without a doubt they are still very comfortable and they have held up very nicely because I've worn them a lot like <laughs> I've worn them quite a lot um so I am happy to say that the quality is there as well so yay for that thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please share it with any friends or family who you also might think will enjoy it don't forget to subscribe most importantly remember to just be you bye guys <laughs>
a variety and I hadn't done one that was like super easy. At least I don't think so. So this movie quote is going to be, it's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Well, I'm actually really curious to see who is going to get this one correct. Please comment below if you know where that quote's from without using Google. See you guys in the next one.